Hello everyone and welcome. For those who quickly want the news, here it is. For those of you who want to actually hear and understand why I believe this, and want the proof to back all of it up, please watch the full video, especially the end. If you think I'm crazy, fine. Call me crazy. If you think it actually makes sense, let us know what you think these games could be. Give this video a like and subscribe, because we have even more news coming almost every day for the next week or two. I believe 100% Grezzo has recently, or are currently, finishing up two different Zelda games, and the job listing everyone's talking about is literally for another third Zelda game. Impossible, you might say. He has no evidence or proof. Grezzo is just a small studio that wouldn't be able to work on two completely different Zelda games at the same time, even if they are just remakes or ports. Then when finished with those two, immediately begin a third Zelda game. Well, to that, I say they have literally done this exact same thing not once, but twice already, back when they didn't have nearly as many developers as they do now. And they have an almost perfect track record of releasing their big games every 8 to 16 months, with sometimes up to three different games releasing in the exact same year. And yes, on two different occasions, they have released two Zelda games in the same year, before immediately starting on another third Zelda game. Oh, and one of those years, the first time it happened, also just happened to be Zelda's 25th anniversary. What about the second time? Just a year before the 30th anniversary. And where are we now? Obviously, the 35th anniversary. So again, the rest of this video will be all of the proof and reasoning that you need. A lot of you have been messaging and asking my thoughts on Grezzo's new announcement about them officially hiring for new jobs. A medieval adventure game. This is almost the exact same terminology that Nintendo used when hiring for Breath of the Wild and other Zelda games. Specifically, on our Zelda podcast, the Hylian Gamescast, we have interviewed almost all of the Breath of the Wild voice actors and have had some on multiple times. Almost all of them told us, before they knew they were auditioning for Zelda, the companies referred to the games in this same way. Ancient, medieval, and sometimes even told them it was Lord of the Rings-like. So what does this mean? And where does the second or third Zelda game come in? Are they remakes, or are they working on an entirely new Zelda game? To sum up their history, Grezzo, with a small team, has a very consistent track record of putting out big games in a very quick time and receiving amazing reviews despite going from one engine to another or one console to another and their team being split to work on big projects and small projects at the same time. Aside from the time between Ocarina of Time 3D and Majora's Mask 3D, which to be fair, they had a lot of other games released those two times, and their overall development team was a lot smaller. And on top of that, the smaller number they did have was split between Majora's Mask, helping Nintendo with Triforce Heroes, and possibly even a third game. So a team that has spent over 10 years constantly working on Zelda games, sometimes even working on multiple Zelda games at once, and has an active pattern of releasing a new big game every year, sometimes up to three in a single year. They have not only not released a game in two years, but hasn't even announced anything at all. Not even a small port, which they usually have one or two every year. And yes, they do announce a lot of their games way ahead of time, such as their original Ever Oasis. Which games do they not announce way ahead of time? The big remakes from Nintendo, which aside from one time when it was Luigi's Mansion, it's always been Zelda. A lot of you may remember when we covered the last time that a Zelda game was teased or hinted at during a job listing or hiring from Grezzo. Though some were thinking it was a Zelda 2 remake as the listing said something like help us make a legend with the number 2, and other developers at that time had mentioned they would love to remake Zelda 2. We ended up correctly reporting here on this channel that Link's Awakening was being made in one of our Every New Zelda Game to Expect videos, which has been like 99% accurate, even the Hyrule Warriors sequel. Around the time, Link's Awakening had sort of been leaked, though as a Link Between Worlds style remake for the 3DS, which we correctly denied and said wasn't happening 
due to some reliable and funny information we were told. Finally, that Unreal Engine 4 legend job hiring, our prediction on Link's Awakening being remade, and part of the rumor actually came true and was officially revealed. Despite a lot of people commenting saying we didn't know what we were talking about, Nintendo wouldn't make a Zelda game using Unreal Engine 4, well, now this exact same thing is happening again. But a lot of people are missing the obvious or important thing here. Grezzo did not release a game, then begin hiring or even announce a game, and start hiring for a new game. They have already been working on a secret project, or projects, for almost two years, and are just now hiring for additional help. Although hiring does happen in the middle or towards the end of the development cycle, from a lot of friends I have who actually work on games, most of the time hiring will begin in early stages of development. So this makes it seem like Grezzo has recently finished whatever they were working on and are gearing up for a new game. This actually makes perfect sense. Remember, remember their pattern two or three games every year, and very quick production times. Even if they took four or six months or longer off due to the pandemic, it still gives Grezzo more than enough time for them to have completely finished not one, but two games, as they are usually working on small projects alongside their big projects at the same time. Just like with the previous rumor and speculation that led to us believing Grezzo or Nintendo was actually making Link's Awakening, if we match Grezzo's job listing with the current news and reliable leaks or rumors, and the fact that everyone is expecting multiple Zelda announcements very soon, for the 35th anniversary, with a ton of evidence to back it up, which we've already covered, including literally the exact same huge list of trademark filings for Zelda that Nintendo did with Mario right before its 35th anniversary was announced, as well as some of the trademarks being for new releases and not just to keep the old trademark active, which is what a few people have said. That's all this was. No. Even games like Twilight Princess are being trademarked as mobile games, of all things. It is very obvious something is coming. So let's quickly compare the two. If Zelda is to get the same love that they gave Mario, this is at the very least six new big games. One really cool Mario Kart game, plus all of the other little insane stuff. Like the crazy Super Mario Bros that has online multiplayer with up to 99 players, which Daniel and I actually joked about almost an entire year before it was announced. Even if we say Age of Calamity released close to the 35th anniversary, and take another off for Breath of the Wild 2, that still leaves five different Zelda games. How could Nintendo make so many Zelda games at once? Well, they just so happen to almost always have around this many Zelda games in development all at the same time. Yes always. Tantalus, who made Twilight Princess HD, has teased new Nintendo HD remakes for Switch. Monolith Soft, who helped on Breath of the Wild, began their own dedicated Zelda team and announced a new unnamed Zelda project about two years ago, just enough time to have finished a new remake or port multiple Wii U games. Nintendo themselves always have a small Zelda team for 2D games, which Aonuma and Miyamoto both teased or joked about a paper Zelda game being in development, and they have a large team that we know is working on Breath of the Wild 2. Oddly enough, we also have an official announcement from Nintendo for a mobile Zelda game that has been confirmed to be in development for years. And now we know Grezzo likely just finished their own Zelda game, or games, and are starting on another. If we want to get a bit crazy, since we know they seem to have two or three teams, and nothing at all has been announced or released since 2019, when they released three different games, it could be possible they are working on multiple Zelda games for the Switch. It would take an even smaller team to port a game which they already remade. Since they would already be used to the engine and the game itself, they would likely already have full HD assets made which they would have had to scale down to work on the 3DS. So porting both Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask 3D to HD on Switch wouldn't take as nearly as long as you might think, especially if they are the ones doing it. Remember, it is the exact same team that not only created the original remakes, but is always adapting 3DS games to the Switch, 
or even the PlayStation 4 in a very short amount of time. So what is Grezzo working on? It's most likely, since they were the studio who originally worked on them, they are working on or finishing up both Ocarina of Time HD and Majora's Mask HD. If Nintendo really wanted to put love into it, they could have spent this entire time just making sure Ocarina of Time looks as good and plays as good as it possibly could, and are just now starting to work on Majora's Mask. However, I doubt this is the case, and imagine they were likely already working on both. The team finished these two and went back to their old development cycle. One or a couple of teams went back to start working on smaller ports, and the other team returned to working on a new Zelda project. Because again, since the company began, they have basically always, always been working on something Zelda related, and sometimes multiple Zelda games at the same time. In fact, the team being split up like this could even explain why they are hiring for what seems to be a Zelda game. They no longer have the numbers or certain people to fill that specific position because they either left or was moved to the other team and now need to hire someone to fill that specific spot. Yes, I do realize how insane this might sound for Grezzo to have been working on two Zelda remakes and then immediately start working on another Zelda project. It sounds like some crazy Zelda fans fever dream, and I agree. However, they have literally done this exact same thing twice already. They released Ocarina of Time 3D and Four Swords Anniversary Edition in the same year, and immediately began working on Majora's Mask 3D, which they also released the exact same year as Triforce Heroes. So far, that is two completely different times that Grezzo released two completely different Zelda games during the same year, and immediately began working on yet another Zelda game. In this case, they ended up working on two more Zelda games after finishing the first two Zelda games. And one of those times, they even had a third game release that same year. To cap it all off, the first time just happened to be celebrating the 25th anniversary, the year that Skyward Sword released, literally naming the Four Swords game the Anniversary Edition. The second time it happened was barely a year before the 30th anniversary. And now, those same two patterns are repeating for what seems to be an amazing 35th anniversary. For those who are really interested in what I believe the other Zelda studios are working on, since this video is already so long, I can make another answering that question as, as best I can, if you would all like. That's it for now, but a lot of rumors, news, and details are slowly leaking out. So please, stay subscribed and notified, and join our Discord to make sure you stay up to date on all Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 news. And you can find our Zelda podcast, The Hylian Gamescast, here on YouTube and on iTunes, where we have had many guests who have worked on the Zelda series, and have shared a lot of amazing stories about voice acting, such as Patricia Somerset voice acting as Zelda, Mike Drucker on Zelda's writing or translation team, coming up with the jokes in the game, stories behind the names of characters that he created. Please subscribe and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you. If you are a fan of our Zelda videos like this, Zelda Theories, our Zelda podcast, the Highly in the Games cast on iTunes, we would all really appreciate your support at patreon.com slash gameoverjesse. That and buying our t-shirts will get you and your YouTube or Twitch a shout out every week on our Hylian Gamescast. And if you send in a photo of yourself in our Game Over Jesse or Hylian Gamescast t-shirt, we can use it for promotion at the end of some of our videos. 